Hello everyone welcome back to Bonita Science. Element Zero, has been a matter of conjecture for nearly a century, and no scientist searched more ardently for it than German chemist Andreas von Antropov. It was Antropov who placed the theoretical element atop a periodic table of his own devising, and it was also he who thought up a prescient name for it, neutronium. You don't widely hear Antropov's name today, as his Nazi leanings earned the scientist international disgrace. You do, however, hear about neutronium. Today, the term commonly refers to a gaseous substance composed almost purely of neutrons, found within the tiniest, densest stars known to exist, neutron stars. Neutron stars are the collapsed cores of large stars. Just 20 kilometers wide, they hold the mass of one to three suns. The incredible mass comes from how they are composed. The stars are made up almost entirely of neutrons clumped together by intense gravity. Neutrons normally exist only within nuclei of atoms, making their congregation an astronomical rarity, and deserving of a cool name, the aforementioned neutronium. But is the stuff also worthy of the title, element zero? Neutronium is theoretically devoid of protons, so on face value it fits the bill, as no protons would mean no atomic number. With that said, such a definition would certainly require some creative thinking. Neutronium only dwells under the crushing gravity of a neutron star. Extract a teaspoon of the stuff roughly equal to the mass of a mountain, and it will decay almost instantly with tremendous radioactivity. To consider neutronium a stable element we'd almost need to think of a neutron star as an atomic nucleus. If this video was helpful to you then please do like share and subscribe to Bonita Science and don't forget to hit the bell icon for latest updates. Thanks for watching.